Uh, next, I am uh, pleased to join uh, with Mr. Poe as the lead Democratic sponsor of the Combat Terrorist Use of Social Media Act. Three things about the bill. The State Department's current strategy for countering ISIS and other extremist groups online is obviously not working. That is not my opinion. That is the State Department's internal opinion, uh, which concluded in June of this year when it comes to the external message, our narrative is being trumped by ISIS. We are losing a popularity contest to people that behead women. Public information also shows the State Department strategy isn't working. The Think Again, Turn Away Twitter campaign has 24,000 followers. Um, in order to reach uh, out to those who might be swayed by ISIS, you are going to need a much bigger following. The, uh, this bill requires the State Department to reassess their approach and come up with a better, more effective strategy. Second, I am hoping that this bill will prod the uh, State Department to hire experts in Islamic theology and in is Islamic jurisprudence. Uh, not everybody they hire has to be a graduate of an uh, Ivy League school or a top American school. We need just a couple of folks over there, graduates of Al-Azhar uh, University in Egypt. Um, I am not saying the State Department can issue a fatwa, but somebody at the State Department should be paid because they are an expert at knowing who should be issuing a fatwa and how to make our arguments consistent with uh, all of the intricacies of Islamic law and Islamic jurisprudence. Um, finally, uh, the social media companies have played a role in this. I believe Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Twitter uh, have a responsibility to uh, make sure that their platforms are not used by terrorists. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, and with some prodding from members of this committee, Twitter have made changes to take down bad content. But that won't work effectively if the State Department isn't identifying the bad content. The only thing worse than playing whack-a-mole is to not whack the moles. And every time one of these terrorist sites pops up, we should see it before the attended audience and have it taken down before the attended, uh, intended audience. So um, I look forward to the passage of that legislation and to a much better strategy from the State Department. Finally, as far as uh, arming the Kurdish regional government, it is about time. We wouldn't have to do it if Baghdad had been reasonable, but if the Baghdad government had been reasonable, we wouldn't even have ISIS to begin with. I yield back. Thank you. We go now to Mr. Dana Rohrbacher of California.